Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Iconic TV. Today we're looking at the Asus E-Pad Transformer. Um, it's it's Asus's first tablet on the market, and it's really is something else. But we'll get into that just now. Um, so let's have a look at what you get when you purchase the E-Pad. What you get is obviously the box, a manual with some marketing material, a charger, and a USB 2 cable that you can plug in straight and upload stuff. But what's the most amazing about this tablet is that it has a dual core Tegra 2 NVIDIA processor, 1 gig of memory, this is the 32 gig version, um, it comes in a 16 version, 16 gigabyte and a 32 gigabyte version, this is the bigger one. Um, it has no 3G, 3G ones are expected later on in the future, this one has wireless however, so if you're in the kind of industry where you, wherever you go there's always wireless then this is a fantastic tablet for you to get. Um, it's got the brand new Android 3.1, when I first got this device it had Android 3, and then with a quick uh, update from ASUS, it went straight to 3.1. So what's really nice about ASUS is that the updates are continuous, which is which is one big thing. If you compare this to the other summer tablets like that have uh, Android 3.0, um, like the Motorola Xoom, this is on a far better level because it has the NVIDIA Tegra chip. Okay, we'll get into what the Integra chip is anyway. As you can see, if you look at it comparable to the iPad 2, because that would obviously be its direct competition, um, it has a much bigger screen. It's got a resolution of 128 over 800, which is somewhat HD. I mean, 720p is uh, pretty much HD, so this is slightly greater than HD. If you compare it to the, to the iPad 2, the iPad 2 does not have an HD screen. It has a 4x3 inch screen and it is 9.5 inches as opposed to 10.1 like this is. So this is a bigger tablet and it is, um, and it's got an HD screen. So it's got an IPS panel here and this quality of the screen is really, really fantastic if you have a look there. You can't see any dead pixels or any sort of, sort of pixelation whatsoever. Um, so if we have a look at the build quality of it, let's go around the sides and have a look. How does it look? We're on the side, we've got the down volume, up volume on an off button, which is basically acts as the lock switch, so you can lock it on and off with by just pressing that. Very similar to the iPad. At the bottom we've got a micro SD slot, so HDMI out, and my earphone jack. And at the bottom we've got two ventilation ports, as well as ventilation, it's um, for the dock, which we'll talk about later, and the charger and data, data cable. So yeah, and the back has got a really nice finish. It's got this textured kind of like, it feels solid, it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel like it's a it's a really got a solid feel to it. I always worry about about Apple because Apple always has got a solid feel to their products and I feel like any other competitor really struggles to to match that kind of feel that Apple does. But this really does it maybe even feels better than Apple. It's, it's a bit heavier, but um, it's fantastic nonetheless. So if we can come and have a look here close on how this new OS works, um, what's the difference between Apple is that it's completely customizable. What you can do is have different widgets, like this for example is a widget, which you can move around and add wherever you want it to be, and that's also a widget. So as with the, if you had to compare it to the iPad 2, there's no such thing as widgets. All you have is your little icons across the screen and that's the end of your tablet. That's all you can do is I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's worse, I'm saying in terms of customization it's limited. Also Android tablets, like you can see here, have animated backgrounds. So over here is a little ice cube that has accelerometer on it. So whichever angle you, you move it, the little ice cube will move. And also it's really clever, it indicates how much battery life you see, have. You can see we've got 56% over there, and um, that water level is pretty much 56%. So that is really, really cool. If we can have a look at what's, what software it, it comes with, I've added quite a bit of software just for testing purposes and things like that to get some more um, experience with the tablet. Um, in I mean, Asus comes with some really, really cool pre-installed applications on it. As we got it, we first got the most basic one as a file manager, which you'll be shocked to find out that um, the default Android does not come with such an application. So if you want to find a program or you want to download something and send it via Bluetooth, whatever, this this application, even though it's as simple as that, comes with it and that's not usually default with Android. So it's a very nice add-on. What you also have is a movie studio. Oh, sorry, let me just go back into it. As you can see, it's very smooth. Um, we also have MyNet. Oh, I keep doing that. MyNet, which will, which is where you can copy and and play. Look, there's another computer network. What you can do is pretty much play any soft, any network stuff that's shared off this application. So if you've got some movie shared and you're lying in your bed and you want to load up a movie, you can go straight to your machine over there and you can play it off straight, which is a really nice free software from Asus. 
Asus also comes with a with a Microsoft Office alternative if you want to load like documents and that sort of thing. Um, let me just find where it is. There it is. There it's called Polaris Office. Um, it really is very good at loading Excel and all that sort of thing. And then another application that it has is the MyCloud, which is really I was actually quite excited about. I opened it just to see what it was. What you have is web storage if you want to load all your stuff to web storage and um, a my desktop support well what that is is that you set it up and you can connect to any machine let me just type this in any machine on the network and you can take remote control of it as you can see here and here we have the Asus website on the transformer um, what's really cool about it like I was on the weekend I was using this and um, I was able to start a download on Steam from my bed connected to my other computer through the network, which is really, really awesome. So now let's have a look at the downsides of this tablet and the pros and cons. Firstly, this tablet is really, really smooth. It's got a nice screen. It's got, it's got Android 3, which is completely customizable. Not to mention you can load custom ROMs on it in the future if you choose to. That can be with its warranty or whatever. But you can get some really good performance increases. Uh, so, and also with the things like animated background, as you can see here, these really do chew battery. So if you want to ch want these, then you're going to really chew battery. And um, it does make the tablet like, as you can see, the movement is not as smooth as it can be, but that is because of the, the background. So yeah, so that's that pretty much. Um, the cons for this tab for this specific one, firstly, it's supposed to have SRS sound, according to Asus. In my experience, the sound on the on this laps, I mean, on this uh, tablet is less than ideal. I mean, I was expecting a little bit better than that. I mean, my phone has um, has better sound than that. The performance on this tablet, on the other hand, is extremely good. Um, like with the Tegra chipset, it's got really, really good graphics. If I'm just load up a quick game here, I didn't get to show you guys this. Um, as you can see, this is this is a game designed especially for the chipset in this in this tablet. So you get much better graphics than you would on a. on a normal tablet. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of what kind of graphics this thing can pull. And there we go. As you can see, it's got really clear graphics. I mean, the screen looks, you can see it's completely in HD. It's got a really, really good look to it. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an idea of what the Tegra chipset's capable of. And um, yeah, so all in all, this Transformer tablet is a fantastic tablet. Um, if you're looking to get into the market for a tablet like, like this, if you're looking between the Apple and the iPad 2, they're both fantastic. I'm not going to say which one is better. What I will say is that Android is catching on to Apple very quickly. And the fact that you can customize it to the extent that you can makes it, in my opinion, the better choice. Um, if you'd like to find more on this product, please visit iconic.t.ca today.